if you put into the model the board adjustment, it will have an impact on the economy. So we are currently um, working on a big study. It will be presented at COP uh, at the end of the year uh, for the MENA region. Um, we are working with the Islamic Development Bank, um, who is a partner in that project, to analyze uh, the uh, job implications, including the cross-border impacts um, in the MENA region. So here we use not single country studies, but we use uh, multi-regional um, uh, studies where you have imports and exports modeled explicitly. So just answering from um, the tool side, yes, the model allows to capture impacts of other countries' policy decisions on your home country. And then obviously you're absolutely right um, when you say that uh, agriculture exports to the European Union will face a different screening mechanism under the board adjustment or under any other type of European rule uh, for having the cucumber right and uh, uh, not um, torn, uh, then yes, uh, it will impact uh, your employment in your country. Okay, so uh, I think we can, we should be closing this session, but uh, to take this topic further, which is a very important aspect of this uh, understanding or assessing the impacts of mitigation actions, uh, we will be presenting or covering this cross-border impacts, uh, including carbon taxes tomorrow, and we will be presenting one study and will be one study which is like global policy measures impacts on different regions how modeling tools can be used for that and we also have some small exercise on that so that probably that will help a little bit more and as marek said that it is hard to give training in two three days completely but it is possible that if we go for an intense one week only on one model that is possible for better understanding. So with this, I think we straight go into the next session, which uh, we have just half of the time left, but I think we can use a little bit of a time of the reporting as well from the next session for it. Uh, just to help Bani in not using too much of like, I was thinking that the, we will have three uh, uh, settings here, but those Bani can provide. But for the grouping, maybe we can just start from here, Wang Mo, from your side. If you can just say number one, two, three, and one, two, three, so that you know which group you are going to. And you can decide, uh, Bani can tell us where one group one will meet, where two, and where three will meet. So, Wang Mo, one, just say your number, and then you know which group you belong to. So yeah, just to maybe help Kusum, can we have the slide with the session titles so that all can understand the title of each of the breakout sessions? Sorry, you, I'm one, and you mean everyone is pronounced to a group? Okay, one. No four. One. Four. Sorry, one. have two and three there, right? Yeah. Okay. So I think we have at least even numbers in all the three sessions. Let me just uh, request our moderators for the session to come over so that all the participants know. So session A will be moderated by Aneta. Can I please invite Aneta to move to that? Yeah, that side and then you can take the lead for the breakout session 3A, which is titled Lessons Learned, Challenges and Opportunities of Use of Tools and Methodologies in the Context of NDCs and LT-LEDs Design. 
can I introduce our participants to the moderator of for session 3B? Stefan, can you please take that side of, yeah, of this room so that, yeah, to whoever have been as, have assigned themselves to two breakout session two, please be there so that Stefan will help to moderate the breakout session for session 3B. And can I request Mr. Ari Simon to come over to this part of the room? So please, whoever have assigned number three to themselves, please be here on this part so that our moderator, Mr. Ari, will be going through the guiding questions with you all. The because we are running a little bit late, so we will stick to our lunch break time, which is from one to two. And you can continue discussions once you are back from the lunch at two o'clock. So we may take a little bit more time for reporting, which was initially scheduled for two o'clock. And uh, the moderators are also requested to discuss among the participants if anyone is interested to also report along with the moderator. So the breakout, the reporting from the breakout sessions will be 10 minutes each, which we think will be around 2.30. So again, a request to all the participants, please be back in this room by two o'clock. But yes, we will stick to our schedule at least for the lunch break. So we break out for lunch at one. Thank you. And yeah, if any, we can also move the flip charts maybe so that you can take the discussions around that. Please. Okay. Thank you so much. And I would like to thank our panel members of the previous session, which I did not do. So I thank Peter, Sangji, Marek and Tarapong for their interventions. Thank you. <laughs>